Hi, I'm Dr. Mucci, consultant geriatrician specializing in the care of older people. And I'm Dr. Michael Jackson, hospital pharmacist and specialist for cardiovascular medicine. And today we're here to empower and motivate you to be your own doctor. We're also going to give you top tips how to stay healthier for longer. Today we are going to talk about Viagra. This video was inspired by my patient Brian, 76. He took Viagra in the morning, made love to his wife and collapsed. He presented to A&E department. So we are going to talk about how to take Viagra safely with your other medications, how to use it correctly, what to watch out for and other uses of Viagra. And at the end, we have some bonus top tips for you. Viagra is a medication which opens up blood vessels, brings blood to the penis and stiffens it. By opening up the blood vessels, however, it also drops the blood pressure. And in fact, actually, we use uh, Viagra in patients with a condition called pulmonary hypertension, high blood pressure in the lungs, uh, to again lower blood pressure. So there are two indications for the use of Viagra. Their pharmacological name is sildenafil, that is erectile dysfunction in men and pulmonary hypertension. Mm -hmm. However, Viagra does not work if there are psychological problems. For example, if you cannot uh, get aroused, uh, if you do not have psychological emotional stimuli, Viagra is not going to help you. And in terms of the timing, I think timing's all important here. I think a lot of people find that uh, if, if the medication doesn't work, it's probably because you've got the wrong dose or the timing isn't right. Uh, Viagra takes about one to four hours uh, to work. So if you engage in sexual intercourse within the one hour or actually over the four hours, hmm. the drug is more likely not to have the desired benefit. So get the timing right. The other thing is actually making sure that you don't take it with food. Mm -hmm. uh, so take it on an empty stomach uh, and to get the best benefit from this. The other thing as well is to make sure that the dose, uh, start at the right dose, which is 50 milligrams uh, as a one-off dose. If it doesn't work for you, try bigger doses. Uh, they may work. And if the dose actually is too much for you, you get more side effects, lower the dose down to the 25. Well, we need to remember about the side effects of these medications. I've already mentioned as a geriatrician, the most important one for me is the effect of Viagra to lower your blood pressure. So if you happen to be someone who is already taking other blood pressure medications, you need to be aware, of course, that on the day when you are taking Viagra, your blood pressure will lower even more. And that's exactly what happened to our Brian. Brian is 76 years old and he's taking a few blood, he was taking a few blood pressure medications. I since uh, advised him to get rid of one of them. And on the day uh, when he was using Viagra, he noticed for some time that he was having dizzy spells. But on this particular morning, it was so bad that it led to a dramatic drop in his blood pressure to a degree that he mm. collapsed and presented to A&E department. So from my perspective, the main key um, message here is on the day when you are planning to use your Viagra, you need maybe to omit some of your blood pressure medications. Of course, you need to discuss that with your doctor to do it in a yeah. safely manner. But actually uh, saying that, if you are actually taking a blood pressure tablet once a day, actually taking it maybe in the morning time, especially if you're engaging in sexual intercourse in the evening, again, to spread the doses out quite a bit. Absolutely, not to take them together. That's very important. Um, of course, you need to know what your blood pressure is. And if you have blood pressure monitor, it will be wise to get a general idea where you are with your blood pressure. And as I said, to omit some of your blood pressure medications or spread them. There are other side effects of this medication, Michael, would you yeah, so, talk so through them? The most common side effect that patients uh, would tell us about would be runny nose, nasal congestion, heartburn, uh, which is indigestion, which is made less uh, um, intense by actually taking the drug with food, but then mm. it doesn't work as well. So it's mm. kind of a catch-22. Uh, the other problems that you can get is some kind of blurred vision and um, also the flushing sensation and that lightheadedness, dizziness that Eleanor, you've referred to, especially mm -hmm. in your patient. So then the most common ones. There is a side effect of the drug that if it causes the a very stiff penis, and especially if the erection lasts over four hours, we call this priapism, which is, is actually a medical emergency. So you do need to seek medical care. 
uh, if you have an erection lasting more than four hours. And Michael, you would not advise using, as a pharmacist, you would not advise using Viagra soon after heart attack or if there is someone who is having recurrent angina attacks? Yeah, that's a good question. I mean, because uh, sildenafil Viagra, that is, was actually used initially as an, a blood pressure tablet or for anginal tablet, um, uh, we know that because it drops the blood pressure, if you're somebody whose heart isn't as strong as what it should be, especially if you have heart failure, have severe angina, it could, the, the actual physical activity could bring on the chest pain or the discomfort. So we don't recommend actually using the drug uh, within what we class as the acute phase of a heart attack, which could be several weeks afterwards. Mm -hmm. And here are our top tips. This medication will not work if you are not emotionally stimulated and if you have psychological problems. Viagra is a blood pressure lowering medication, so you need to be very careful if you are on other blood pressure medicines as the two together might lower your blood pressure too much. This will lead to lightheadedness or even a collapse. And my two top tips are get the dose right and get the timing right. Try different times, different doses, especially if it doesn't work for you. And my final top tip is avoid, if possible, buying from online uh, internet uh, uh, retailers where you do not know the quality of the product you're getting. All the Thank best. Thank you. Thank you.